Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Joost Appelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on a video, subscribe to the channel. As a fountain pen lover, you probably appreciate beautiful pictures of inspirational quotes written with fountain pen. In that case, you are probably following the Instagram account Pages by Leanne. And if you don't, you definitely should. The lady behind the amazing handwriting is Leanne Cork. In this video, she is going to share with us her favorite three pens. Hi, my name is Leanne, um, and you may know me um, from Pages by Leanne on Instagram, where I um, share pictures of my uh, various styles of handwriting as well as pens from my fountain pen collection. Um, I bought my first fountain pen about three and a half years ago and like now I just basically want to try all of them. So I've got about 60 or 70 pens in my collection now and some of them really are amazing. Um, so I'm over the moon to have been asked to talk to you about what my favourite three pens are. So I'm going to start with pen number one. Um, my favourite pen and that is a custom pen that um, I had made by Tom from the Chesapeake Pen Company and I've been following Tom for a little while before um, I contacted him and I'd just been really impressed with all of the um, hybrid style pens that he'd been creating and um, he was making them from driftwood um, as well as resin and they just looked really striking and really unique and that's kind of what I wanted my pen to look like so um, for the wood part of the pen, um, I wanted it to come from Baltimore because I'd been on holiday to the US earlier that year and it was the first holiday that my husband and I had been on to the US together. Um, and we had such an amazing time in Baltimore. So it just seemed like a nice thing to kind of remember the holiday by. And um, so I contacted Tom and asked him if he had like any um, wood from the Baltimore area and I think he picked up some dr driftwood from the Inner Harbour which we'd had such a lovely time there so um, yeah that was that was really nice that he was able to get that um, and for the like resin part of the pen um, I wanted that to represent the sea um, I love going to the beach and I think it's because I grew up in the Midlands um, I was like right in the middle of England and quite far away from any beaches and so trips to the beach were always really special and they were like a special treat we'd go on holiday um to the south of England quite often um so it was kind of like a childhood memory thing really um I live in northeast England now um and I'm about 15 minute drive from the beach so I get to go far more often now and I just love being there so yeah I wanted something to Kind of represent what I love and so when I messaged Tom I basically said can I have um, some driftwood from Baltimore and um, I want the resin to look like the sea um, so kind of teals greens blues sorts of colors um, and then this is what he came up with um, which I think is just pretty perfect um, the spalting on the um, wood is just lovely and then the um different kind of colors running through the resin i think really do represent the water like the little white flecks kind of look like waves and it's got a bit of glitter there so it kind of catches the light and it's mostly green but with a little bit of blue in there too so it's it's really lovely um i was so impressed when um when it arrived i really do love this pen um it's got a number five nib on it um I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. Um, Tom said that he usually makes pens in kind of number six um, size nibs. So I think he had to make like extra bits of um, machinery and stuff for his lathe, um, which I just think just shows the commitment to like really creating that custom pen. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed by that. And um, I've got two sections for this pen as well. One's got a Joe nib and the other a Bok nib. So that's pretty cool. And that was only because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So um, so he created both, so that was lovely. Um, so yeah, that pen means a lot to me because it kind of just represents 
the things that I love. So it makes me smile every time I look at it. Um, my second pen is um, a kind of, it's a fairly early pen from my collection. Um, I bought it in 2017. Um, I'd signed up for the pelican hub and felt a little bit uncomfortable that i didn't have a pelican to go with um so prior to this i'd always really bought quite inexpensive pens um some kind of starter pens and um so pelican seemed like the great place to start in my first kind of next level pen and so i went for the um m200 um, and it's a smoky quartz pen and it kind of represents the colors i liked at the time really was into browns and golds and uh, autumnal type colours and a lot of the inks I was using at that time were those sorts of colours and I just loved the look at it, uh, the, the look of it and um, I was really impressed when it arrived. Um, it writes really nicely, the nib's quite soft um, so it does create quite a nice line variation. I mean I get asked all the time um, how do I create line variation out of steel nibs and if I'm honest I don't really know um, maybe my history of um, being a ballpoint user as a kid didn't help but um, I think I'm just a bit heavy-handed but some of the pens I have really lend themselves to um, a little bit more pressure and this one is definitely one of those it's quite soft now and it just writes really nicely it's really wet flowing as well which is great because I get really easily frustrated by pens that are um kind of hard starters or dry writing like i just um tend to avoid them so this is just a dream to write with the pe the pen itself looks lovely and it means a lot because it was kind of my first dip into kind of the next level of pens um and i guess really um i don't know kind of reinforced the hobby a little bit more like i, I was a bit more serious about it at this point um so yeah i love this pen um and now i have many more pelicans i think but they're probably my favorite brand of pen um and i love their gold nibs but there is just something a, a little bit special about that steel nib it's yeah it's just lovely um so pen number three um i actually really struggle with this i just don't I didn't know which one to go for because I've got so many lovely pens in my pen collection and I just they just don't all they don't tick all of the boxes though there's one thing about it that's not quite right um so it was a bit of a struggle and I ended up going for my um Sailor Pro Gear and this was um a gift uh, about two years ago from my husband for my birthday and um when I first got it, I just didn't really like it, to be honest. I mean, I love the look of it, don't get me wrong, it's such a beautiful pen. But it has quite a springy nib on it, and it just... I don't know, I just couldn't get it to work properly. <laughs> and so it took a little bit of effort to practice with it and understand how it worked a little bit more. And maybe that's why it's never been one of my true favourites, because um, it was... Yeah, it was hard work to begin with. But over time, I've learned how the nib works a little bit more. Um, I It kind of suits my handwriting style now. I guess as my handwriting style is in, um, has improved and become a bit more confident, um, it, it feels more enjoyable to write with. And um, again, it can be a little bit dry writing sometimes. It does need the right ink in it, really, to feel properly comfortable. Um, but it is such a lovely pen. It is a lovely pen to look at. I do think Sailor probably produced the most aesthetically pleasing pens, um, particularly the Pro Gears. Um, and it was a gift from my husband, so it does mean a lot in that respect. Um, his favourite colour is orange, so it's kind of nice that that represents his love as well. So, um, yeah, um, it has definitely grown on me. And um, when I was thinking about which one's ticked all the boxes to be honest that one does tick all the boxes now but maybe there's just a little bit in the background that um I cling on to that <laughs> not knowing whether or not I can use it properly or not um so they're my three pens and they really are some fab pens and I do have loads of other fab pens in my collection um that deserve a place on the top three but they they mean a little bit more to me 
than some of the others. So um, if you've got any questions about anything, then hopefully you know where to find me now. Um, but I just want to say thank you very much for listening because I really appreciate it. So thank you. Bye. Thank you.